Hi everybody, Mike Bittner, your Applications Technology Manager for DAPRA, coming to you with another two-minute success story. We had a customer who needed to put four-inch diameter holes through two-inch thick 4140 pre-hard. Their current setup involved using a one-inch diameter drill for a starter hole, followed by a one-inch diameter inserted carbide end mill taking multiple step cuts to rough out the hole and break through the bottom. Total cycle time with those two tools combined, about 20 minutes per hole. Our solution involved using a two inch diameter high feed shell mill in a constant helix motion. Now this would be right from solid with no start hole needed. An interesting note to keep in mind for this is that this was on a 40 taper Haas machining center, so horsepower was not unlimited. We started using DAPRA's Rhino feed system at 700 surface feet per minute, which was about 1330 RPM, 30 thousandths feet per tooth, which was 200 inches per minute feed rate, and a 30 thousandths helix, which may sound light, but we wanted to keep the chips light and small and easy to blow out of that hole. And we also needed to be concerned about the horsepower consumption. Now, see and hear the results for yourself. Notice we start at the three o'clock position right above the part and start into a helix motion from there. We'll stay in that motion until we break through the bottom of the part. Chip evacuation is generally the biggest challenge when helixing from a solid. So we've got multiple airlines blowing the chips out of the hole to make sure we avoid recutting those hard chips. Notice that even at 200 inches per minute, we're only running slightly into the yellow on our load meter. This can be maintained for up to 30 minutes without issue, but we won't need anywhere near that long. After running this hole you're watching, we increased the feed rate to 250 inches a minute, and the load meter only increased to 135 to 140 percent. So there's definitely room for improvement from what our initial settings were. As we get deeper into the hole, you can see how critical it is to have good air blast evacuating those chips. Recutting chips is a problem for your cutting edge, but you also heat up your part more by the heat of those chips remaining standing in that hole. So it's really important to have strong air blast getting the chips up and out of there right away. As we near the bottom of the hole, you will notice some sparks and heat. This is due to both the chips getting smaller as we break through and the wafer or slug beginning to heat and fall away from the main workpiece material. This is normal and does not cause damage to the cutting edge of our tool. So there you have it. Hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to implement this in your application, call us at 800-243-3344 or email us at info at